Greetings. I'm George Boston Rines from Brooks County, Georgia. I have a website called www.georgebostonrines.com on YouTube, Boston GBR. I have done other videos concerning the great little school in Quitman and by the name of Washington Street High School and Booker T. Washington Elementary School. Last night I was called and informed of the death of Miss Florence Louise Butts, a great educator at Booker T. Washington School. This was an all black school. It was during the period of segregation. It was a school operated by Principal Rutherford. And they had to be special in the black community. Because as you know, many blacks lived on the white man's plantation. Thank God that me and my siblings did not have to live on the white man's plantation. What did that mean, Mr. Rhymes, as you talk about Florence Butts. Florence Butts was an educator. She was my seventh grade teacher. And I might add that she was an outstanding educator at that all black school. I am now 69 years old and proud of it. In my entire school history of elementary school, middle school, etc., etc. I never had a white teacher. All my educator was black until I went into the armed forces. These black educators at Washington Street High School, Dixie, and other schools were some of the best school teachers that money could not buy. And I thank them. I thank them throughout my adult life. I didn't know how important an all black school would be to me until I left the night of graduation. I received my diploma about 10 something and about 10, 15, I was on a bus heading to Atlanta to start employment on a job already set up for me. Mr. Robert C. Marshall, an outstanding educator at Washington Street, had to deal with these children who was in the impoverished areas of Quitman and other county quarters and communities. He took those black children, molded them, groomed them, educated them, and sent them off in the right direction. Many black children that graduated from high school as I said, worked on the white man's plantation, the Blackwater Plantation, and others. I won't go through the names of calling them. Some of these students was in my class, and they stayed out of school so long, sometimes we would forget that they were even in our class. 
but they did the best that they could do. Some of them came back to be A, B, and C students. All because of these black educators who loved them enough not to tell them you can't make it because you're in the dark or you are a second class citizen. When I heard that Florence Butt had, Butts had died, I said the other day, let me say a few words about her. She was an outstanding soul, up in age too, I may add. When I go to Brooks County, I would see her at Harvey's Food Store. She always had something encouraging to say. So let me close this out by saying to the people of Brooks County, I want to commend every black educator that gave us a high quality education. When I left for Brooks County in Quitman and Hickory Head area, I thought that I had received an inferior education. That's just the way I felt because you all know who are willing to tell the truth like I am, that we got hand-me-down books from the white schools. Men of the backs was torn off. We even read messages that white people left in the books because they was hand-me-down books. But these black educators took those books and they gave us the best education that we could have received in any school. Now let me, let me tell y'all what I'm saying. Y'all don't, don't mind if I get carried away here. I'm almost about to burst into tears because when I went to Atlanta and worked at the Marriott Hotel, I got to see Muhammad Ali, Moms Mabley, Johnny Cash, and other stars. I may not have had, may not have had the right etiquette when it comes down to how to hold my fork, but I knew how to shut my damn mouth and listen to people all because the educators taught us how to be respected in the outside world. And so I learned to appreciate the greatness of these educators. When I went, left the Marriott Hotel in Atlanta, went and worked for Sears and Roebuck there on Ponce de Leon. Worked there for about four months and I talk, started talking to myself. What else will you do? To make a long story short, I entered the armed forces. This was during the Vietnam War. And when I went into the military, this is when I found out how great these educators were. When you test for rank in the military, just like when you go into college, you got to compete with all the Catholic schools, the private schools, schools where people was tutored, some parents cheated for them to pass. But in the military, we had to compete with the best of them. And I must say, all blacks without exception, they held their own. All because of the black educators who cared enough about them to give them instructions how to travel through this life. And so Mr. Marshall, Miss Butts, Miss Harper, the English teacher, Miss Gladys Turner, your sister, Mr. Hunter, all of you, all of you black educators that taught on the difficult times to black students, you gave us the best because you told us that we deserved no less. Mr. Ferris Stevenson, took the math books and algebra books, geometry books, and you gave us enough to carry us through this maze of life. To all those, Miss White, Miss Adams, who took the time to teach us how to hit ASDF and JKL semicolon on the old 
carriage returned typewriters. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to leave y'all now. I'm asking you all, if you will, to share this video. I might have talked too long, but my heart and my mind is pregnant. I've been pregnant since God called me to do the work that I've been doing since 1975. If you Google G-E-O-R-G-E-B-O-S-T-O-N-R-H-Y-N-E-S, that's my name. If you Google my name, you will see videos about nigger branch equipment, traveling through the Hickory Head area, riding down the street there in front of the soda shop, riding all through equipment, going through the Mary Turner lynching, going to the old campgrounds, going through the old school land historical account. I do that because I don't just read the Bible like some of you. I read the Bible when God told Joshua to erect stones here so the children will remember the day that I brought them through here. And I want you all to remember where God brought you from. And this is why I've published videos even when I was in the military because I love y'all just that much. Ah, you may not love me. I've helped people across the state of Georgia, people working at Walmart. I've been all the way to Bentonville, Arkansas because I stood up for people that looked like me and people that looked like my former slave masters. And I want to thank my grandmother most of all, Eliza Bryant, Blankham C. And Howard Bryant. And Evelina. And my dad, George, from Thomasville. For giving me and tutoring me in a direction that made me the man that I am today. I'm not much of a man. But I can say one thing. I wear my own shoes. I'm a real man. Never slept with another man in my life and have no intention to do so. Never hit a woman in my life talking about fighting her. And I just want you all to know, this is the education we got from these black educators like Miss Florence Butts. Mr. Marshall is up in age but he's still holding on. I've talked to him recently. But you all have a nice day and may God bless you again. I apologize if I talk too long. But y'all, please say hi to the educators when you see them. Every opportunity I get, I go by and holler at Miss Pitts. Ever seen her in a good while. But y'all have a nice day. May God bless you. All condolences go out to Miss Florence Butts. And if I can, maybe I'll do another video. But I do want you all informed because they gave us information. And now that they are making a transition and moving on up the ladder to get their higher degree, you all have a nice day. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. I will close by saying this the hundred th hundred songs, hundred thirty third song. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. For it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. God bless this educator, and God have blessed us through her. Peace be unto you. May God bless you, and let us be a blessing to one another. Bye-bye. We gone.